Today we're taking a look at these animated arrows following a path and I paid someone actually to make this for me because I'm not uh, good in geometry nodes or anything uh, that has to do with programming or things like that or logic or whatever. Anyway, so I decided to give away this for free because some people need this and I was searching for something like this online and I didn't find it. So basically this is a geometry node setup uh, that will allow you to create arrows to follow a path like this. I use it a lot for animated uh, explainer videos and it's really cool. So I decided just to give it for free or if you want to uh, donate or you know pay a little bit like a couple of bucks for this that's fine and it will allow me to make more of these kind of things and share it with you uh, for free. So basically this is the file um, it has everything you need but you don't need to open the file so we'll create a new project here. So let's go to a general project, let's delete everything else and let's create a path and this path will be a little bit wiggly so let's uh, move some of these. Okay so we have a curve here or a path and we want to animate arrows around it to go automatically around the whole thing. So let's go and append our file. So our file is here. So to append the file we need to select the node tree so we open that and we select the arrows node tree so that's for the geometry nodes and we also need if we want to use that we need the materials and I'll show you how they work in a second so that's the material arrow material and that's it and we also need to create our object that will be an arrow so whatever kind of arrow that you want you can put it there. So I'm going to create real quick here a cylinder. Well, I'm going to scale it up like that and then I'm going to put a cone at the top as the arrow head. Okay, so let's let put it there and let's put it there. So that's my arrow. So I'm going to create a single object by joining this together and then scale it down because we don't want giant arrows and then um, I'm not sure what's going to be the direction of the arrow, but I'm going to rotate it in the y-axis, 90 degrees. So I'm going to apply everything, the scale rotation, and then I'm going to move it off the screen or somewhere where it's not going to be rendered for now. And now we're going to select our arrow, go to here to the modifiers tab and then create a new geometry node. And here we're going to choose our arrow. So that's uh, the setup <clears throat> that geometry nodes that will create everything. But we need to select the arrow object. So that's there. And nothing happens we need because we need to put uh, a good amount of arrows in there in the count here. So that's how you create more arrows there. And now you, you see that the direction is great. So I was, I was uh, correct, put in the direction in that way. And now if you want to uh, change the pivot point or the, this center point, which is called origin, you can go there and move it a little bit here because I want it to be rotating here. You can also put it here or there, but I, uh, I think it makes sense for me like the center of gravity of this object is there. So that's why I'm putting it there. So that's where the arrow will rotate when following the curve. Okay, so basically that's that's all you need. Um, so now you can animate this offset and the arrows will follow the curve like that. Now the cool thing about this thing is that the arrows will start off as zero, zero percent of scale and then they will reach a certain scale and maintain it throughout the whole curve until the last bit. Well, they will fade out again into a smaller and smaller scale until zero. So they disappear. So that's cool. That's one of the things I wanted from this. Here is now you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, you can change, of course, the overall scale of the arrows. You can also change the scale at the beginning, uh, at the end. So I taper off like that. And we can also apply the material we already import or appended to this document. So I'm gonna select the arrow material 
and I'm going to open here a new window and then we're going to the shader editor and we're going to select our arrow sorry guys to select the arrow material here and here we have two nodes which are attributes one is a scale which is basically what what's affecting the scale uh, at the beginning and at the end and the other one is the position relative to the position of the curve the arrow on the curve so if we go to this mode here we can see the colors or the materials we see that this color blue is at the beginning when the scale is very small until it reaches the full scale which is red and then or we can also swap it like this so we see it's red in the beginning and at, in the end but in the rest of the curve is blue or we can also use the position in the curve so if we use the position, it will start off as red, and then it will gradually fade to blue or whatever color we decide here in this in this um, shader. So we can do whatever like that, or we can also change here. So let's uh, create a new ramp, color ramp node, and we can also decide how much or where the colors are gonna start changing like that so now we just have to animate this so i'm going to put this keyframe here and then up here i'm going to create a new keyframe so that's it we have our animated arrows and remember that you can download the file in the description below it's completely free in gumroad and if you want um, you can also throw a couple of bucks um, to to buy it if you want it's not completely mandatory but it's just to help this um, development of more of these these uh, things and I'll be sharing more of, of the tools that I create or that I you know I, I find useful I hope you find it useful in your projects and thank you for watching